am in Indianapolis, Indiana, and uh, this is a very special video. Um, I've waited to do like a proper video on the Indiana World War Memorial because it has been under renovation and uh, there's been scaffolding all over it, so uh, it's being restored at the moment. Um, but I'm actually getting a very rare opportunity to go inside and go into areas that are totally off limits to the public, like above the shrine room. Uh, so I'm pretty excited for this. So as you can see, the building is under scaffolding and has been for at least six months. In my opinion, this is the best war memorial in the United States, though. That's not just my Hoosier bias. I really do think it is. I haven't been to all of them, you know, but like even DC, I don't think is as good as the, well, uh, I don't know. Um, but this building is beautiful. It has some of the most amazing architecture in it. And it has a great military museum. And as of March 6th, 2019, the interior is all done. Everything is open. It's just the exterior has scaffolding. Again, I plan on doing a proper video on the memorial and museum at a later date when it's all finished. Plus, that's going to be a really long video. Um, but this building... Well, uh, the cornerstone was laid in 1926, so this was intended as a World War I memorial to the Great War. Um, and of course we've gotten in more wars since then. Uh, General Pershing laid the cornerstone, and it was actually completed in 1933 because of funding, and it's also a big uh, project. This is the ceiling in the entryway. In this video, I will show some of the big and historic rooms for their architectural value because they're just really cool. So all of these areas I show at first are open to the public. This is Indiana's Liberty Bell. The Treasury Department made replicas for each state in 1950 to encourage the purchase of saving bonds. This is the Great Hall of the Memorial. There isn't actually any work being done on the interior. The ziggurat roof is very complicated and also almost 100 years old, so many parts need repaired and replaced because of leaking damage. This is the Pershing Auditorium, a stunning chamber where many ceremonies can be held, including many naturalization ceremonies are held here regularly. It does have a large portrait of General Blackjack Pershing, the leader of the American Expeditionary Forces in World War I. And this is the highlight of the memorial, the Shrine Room. This room was dedicated on Armistice Day 1933. It is specifically a memorial to the veterans of the Great War. The materials throughout the room are from the Allied Nations. The columns are blood red Vermont marble. It is 110 feet to the top of the ceiling. I noticed on this visit, at the base of the 40 foot tall columns, there are poppies carved in. Now these are areas where the public is not allowed. This is inside a long staircase near the shrine room. This is what it looks like at the top, where the upper windows of the memorial are, 
It's a brick passageway around the perimeter of the building. The windows are really cool and old. And there are some very unique views up here. But there is some damage on the windows. They do have an elevator that goes up here, original to the building. So it's a gilded 1920s elevator that still works, but I probably would not trust it. Elevators back then even came with their own emergency telephones. And this is a very rare opportunity to walk on the catwalk above the shrine room, about 45 to 50 feet above the floor. This perspective provides for a totally different experience, and I noticed a lot of incredible details you can't really see from the floor. There is a pattern hand-painted around all the blue lights. Also, all the states and territories have wreaths and their names inscribed up here, including Indiana. Due to being built in the 20s and 30s, the Philippines is still here because it was a territory at that time. The large Swedish crystal chandelier, known as the Star of Destiny, hangs above the room. Really need to see it up close. An aerial view of the Altar of Consecration. You can't really see what's on top at floor level. The view to the north overlooking the American Legion Mall, the Public Library, and the Scottish Rite Cathedral. St. Mary's Cathedral over towards Massachusetts Avenue and the east side. And the south side overlooking University Park, downtown, and Salesforce Tower, the tallest building in Indiana. Also the Soldiers and Sailors Monument is visible. And back down the long staircase. The building has several large meeting rooms that are available and very intricately designed. Lots of great architectural features in these. I got to go into the Samuel Woodfill room, which is not open to the public. Samuel Woodfill was a Medal of Honor recipient from World War I. Personally, I think he was the Audie Murphy of the Great War, but hardly anyone knows about him. General Pershing called him the most outstanding soldier in the war, and he's got quite a story behind him well worth the research. This was the original visitor entrance on the north side. 
which is neat, but much more plain than the current entrance. Again, I do plan on making a very in-depth video also featuring the Great Museum, but this is an absolute must-see if you're in Indianapolis. This whole American Legion Plaza is uh, considered second to Washington DC's National Mall, which I have videos at a lot of those memorials, by the way. Uh, but this is all a National Historic Landmark, and uh, there's a bunch of memorials back behind me that's really cool. I'll go through them later on. So that was a pretty cool experience to get to go up there. Uh, this is a program by Indiana Landmarks, which I am now an official volunteer for, and I'm uh, volunteering tomorrow. Uh, this was my first walkthrough, so uh, it's a very exclusive tour, but I actually like, got to go around and wander around. So um, if you like this video, I have a lot of videos here in Indianapolis and at all sorts of museums and historic sites. Got some special access in some places like this. So uh, make sure to check out all my other videos and subscribe. And thanks for watching.